everybody. My name is Miranda Kitchpanich. I'm 18 years old. This is my fifth year back on Beale Street as the Youth Showcase Act. And I, can, I cannot tell you how much it means to me to be back. The Washington Blue Society has been so generous with their time and how much they've given me support, like in the six years that I've been with them. And this is the, actually the first year that I've come back with a set of mostly my own original stuff, which is pretty cool. I've never done that before. So, wow. Thank you guys so much for being here and taking the time out of your schedules to come see me right here right now before the semifinals start. Cause uh, Fuel Junkies in the house and they moved on. Give them a big Woo! hand, you guys. <laughs> Seriously, they're an amazing band. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. So I'm gonna start with a cover. Um, this is written by Mr. Elmore James in the early 1960s called Stranger Blues. I'm a stranger in a hurry, and I just rode Everybody's dogging me around I wonder how I come to help it Why do they treat a stranger so? Yes, I wonder how I come to help, baby Why do they treat a stranger so? These people should remember They're gonna reap just what they sow And the tracks are all out of line Yes, the train stops here now, baby And the tracks are all out of line I'm gonna pack up my soul now And I'll move on down the line Thank you. Yeah, that was Stranger Blues, written by Elmer James, early 1960s. I did that song with my other blues partner, Nick, last year. That was lots of fun. Now we're getting, we're getting into the meat and potatoes now. This is, a <laughs> yeah, this is an original song that I wrote about feeling like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, but you know that you put yourself in that situation. So this is called Behind the Eight Ball. Funny way of finding what to do to make you lose your mind a little over what you should choose. It's a tough and hard to listen, it's rough and hard to know. It's the way it works in life, it seems But behind the eight ball, no one knows She 
should have stayed in the line and work it I should have run away and play Should have followed my hopes and dreams and pray It'll all work out one day mm. I can dream my life away but I know it won't follow me home It's the way it works in life it seems But behind the eight ball No one knows No one knows The angel inside resists you The devil just wants to say Make your mark in every place Before your soul goes and comes my way Ooh. And I'll be damned for a living heavy And I'll be damned for a living soft and I'm damned for letting life go on But behind the eight ball, no one Behind the eight ball, no one Behind the eight ball, no one knows No one knows No one knows No one knows That was a fun one to write. Thank you. I was about to ask. So, um, I bet everybody here in this room has had perfect luck with love. I see so many people coupled up. I can't. For everybody else in the room, um, if you're anything like me, you always fall for people who just don't pick up any of your cues that you're putting down. Like, at all. So... <laughs> Let's be honest, sometimes boys are just really dumb. So this song is called Love's Got a Hold on Me. And feel free to move around. She's moving around. I appreciate that. I'd like to see more of that. I mean, it's your weekend. You do what you want, but you know, make it fun for everybody.
So, is everybody else having just the greatest time this week? Yeah? As you can tell, I have been too. <laughs> oh man, it's always such an honor getting to come back here. I know I already said that, but I want to give another big thanks to the Blues Foundation and the Washington Blues Society and Peoples and all the other fantastic venues for hosting this every year. This is year 36, I think. Wow! It's like twice the amount of time I've been alive. <laughs> so, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love you guys. You're awesome. Love you. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get honest. Um, I have a really hard time talking to crowds and being, you know, hey, 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 before you laugh, let me explain myself, sir. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to be honest. Let me, let me be vulnerable. I'm trying to say, I've had a lot of struggles being open and vulnerable with crowds and approaching it appropriately and I have a hard time putting my songs into words and especially this song um, I wrote it and I was trying I was trying to be honest with the people that I love around me about how I felt with where we were at and all that kind of stuff I'll just I'll just play the song it's called waiting
So earlier these lovely gentlemen asked me, so what got you into the blues? And I was like, oh, I was gonna tell everybody that. So I'm gonna tell you what I told them. Is that, uh, if I'm being really honest, my, my, my first love was classic rock. I, uh, I had four years of Led Zeppelin covers under my belt and my mom was like, hey, you know that music comes from somewhere, right? I was like, I mean, I guess so. And so, uh, after being introduced to all the amazing legends like B.B. King and Albert King and Elmer James, Stevie Ray Vaughan, all those guys, um, I got approached by the Washington Blues Society for a small music production happening at the Neptune called Music Marches On, which was a, yeah, which is a, um, <laughs> a historical progression of like bl blues and roots music. And it was amazing. It was so much fun to be a part of. And uh, that's where I was introduced to gospel too actually, and uh, yeah. Mahalia Jackson's Trouble of the World was my first introduction. And can I, can I sing a little bit of it for you, if I can handle it, is that okay? Can I do that? Okay. Soon we'll be done with the trouble of the world. Trouble of the world Trouble of the world Soon we'll be done With the trouble of the world Going home to live Thank you. And that is the first song that ever showed me what the blues and what gospel meant and what blues could mean and what it's supposed to make you feel and how it's an experience rather than your experience and how long you've been playing. It's its, its own special kind of love that I have grown so fond of and I could not be more thankful to the blues community and to all of you guys for being here. So thank you again. <laughs> so, <laughs> I must stop, must stop crying. <laughs> um, so uh, this next song. Anybody here have a mom that's always right? <laughs> she's right over there. Now she knows she's always right and I can never step back off of this. So, um, you had a mom is always right. You should record this and send it to your mom. <laughs> but um, this is me and my long overdue acknowledgement of it. So I'm sorry. This is for you. Okay. Oh, mama say, I ain't going. Back no more. Hey, oh, mama, say I'm done crying. No, I'm not. <laughs> I found myself a lonely heart.
should all be texting your moms right now. <laughs> Tell her I'm so sorry. You were always right and I knew it, but I was just being stubborn. So now you're gonna say that she was right. So much again. Are you guys having fun? Was this worth your time? Was it worth it? Was it really? I'm so glad. Thank you. Being able to come here and play some original songs for the first time for real is meant a lot. So I'm. Thank you guys. This one isn't necessarily an original song, but it's my own take. Um, it's an old Glenn Campbell tune by the name of uh, "By the Time I Get to Phoenix." Do any of you know that song? And by the time I get to Phoenix, beautiful tune, right? Well, um, I heard it. It was, my mom, it was my mom's favorite. It was her mom's favorite and her mom's favorite. Her mom's favorite. And, you know, you know this goes on and on. Um, <laughs> but I heard it, and I was inspired to put my own take on it. And so I hope Glenn Campbell doesn't mind what I did to his song. So. <laughs> it's about the time I get to Phoenix. Again, thank you guys so much. My name is Miranda Kitchpanich. Okay, okay, here we go. By the time I get to Phoenix, he'll be rising up the morn. He'll find the note I left him there, just hanging on his door. Cause I left him on. Just hanging on his door. I left him on, just hanging on his door. He'll laugh when he reads him. He'll be rolling on the floor. He says that I've left him just like many times before. Cause I've left the boy. Many times before, I've left the boy so many times before. I know he'll try to call me, he'll be reaching for the phone, but I'll just leave it ringing, baby. Please leave me alone, and he'll call. I won't let him know. I left his message ringing on the phone. Memphis. We're in Memphis! Oh my gosh! Yes! <laughs> By the time I get to Memphis, he'll be sleeping on the couch. And I'll be down on Beale Street just living my dreams out. And he'll weep. And he'll moan. That I would really go He never thought that I would really go He never thought that I would really go Thank you again! My name is Miranda Kitchmanage here representing the Washington Blue Society. I'm so happy to be here for the Youth Showcase. Go catch some awesome semi-final acts like Fuel Junkie over there! Go catch Fuel Junkie! And then, and then, and then the, the movers and the shakers. Yeah, right there. You guys gotta go check these guys out. You guys have a wonderful rest of your night. 